Hello, once again, as we said, we are on finding the median from group frequency distribution table. In fact, our main interest for now is how to calculate the median. You know, median from a group frequency distribution table can be found by calculation. It can be found by uh, from the histogram, the median can be found from the cumulative frequency table. So now we are on finding the median from uh, calculation or by calculating it. If you are given this, in fact, the formulas that we use say that the median, in fact, is not only one because any different person may have his own way by introducing new variables but the standard is the same the median of a group frequency distribution table can be calculated with the formula L plus open brackets half of n minus frequencies before or let me say cumulative frequencies before cumulative frequencies before all over frequency of the median class Multiply by C. What are these? In fact, L is lower class boundary. Let me write it again. Lower class boundary. of the median class. C equal class size of the median class. N is of, of course, total frequency. And C, F, subscript. In fact, uh, before, like this, C, F, before, is cumulative. Frequency before the median class. So it means that we should get the class boundary for each class interval. So we pick the first one. How do we find the class boundary? Let me start from the upper class boundary of the first class. Five, between five and six, halfway. That's we add the five and the six, we get 11 divided by two, we get 5.5. .5. So 5.5 .5 here, it started from somewhere. That 5.5 .5 becomes the lower class boundary of the next class. The next one, 10 plus 11, 21, divide by two. 10.5 that 10.5 becomes the lower class boundary over here then we find the next one 15 plus 16 halfway of it is 15.5 because these are all of the same interval it means it will continue in that format 15.5 15.5 
to 20.5 20.5 to 25.5 if we are to work that is exactly what we are going to get then 25.5 2 now after 30 look at how the intervals are going it means after 30 the next figure would have been 31 if that is so then and you see that is different the difference is 10 10 10 10 so it means when we add 10 to this or it's like the same interval is added, uh, uh, sorry, the, the interval is 5, 5, sorry. From here, 5 plus this, 5 plus that, 5 plus 5, that. So it means when we add 5 to 8, we are going to get what? 30.5. Looking at, looking at the, 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 the lower class boundary of the first class or the lowest class, you will see that that one to the interval is 5, 5, 5. So by subtracting 5 from here, you will get... 0 0.5 and this becomes the class boundaries now what is the median class that's the most important thing to find the median class as we said we use the same formula that we use that is we sum the the, the, the frequencies and find halfway of it so when we sum all these all these we get eight 14, 20, 30. Okay? So at least halfway of it is 15. At least halfway of it is 15. So when we add up this plus this 8, 14, we need one more to get her halfway. So that one more can be taken from this class. That is 16 to 20. It means the median class is a class 16 to 20 and therefore the L that we are using here that's the lower class boundary for the median class is going to be 15.5 15.5 so let me now clean these portions because we have already described it that L is the lower class boundary of the median class C is the class size of the median class N is the total frequency which we have here, 30. And then CFB uh, here is the cumulative frequencies before, which we can get from the table. So let me clean all this and then we continue. So if that is the case, the median. Is equal to L, which we have established as 15.5. 15.5 plus. We get to the brackets. Within the bracket, we know N to be 30. So half of 30 minus what is the cumulative frequencies before? We are going to sum all the frequencies that come before the median class. This is the median class. That is 16 to 20, that class. And therefore, the frequencies that come before it are this, that, and that. 6 plus 5 plus 3, which is 14. So we get here 14. All over. What is the frequency of the median class? 6. That's the frequency of the median class. So we get that one. 6. We close the bracket. Now what about this C? It's the class size of the median class. What is the class size? The class size simply means the difference between the lower class boundary and the upper class boundary of the median class. So the lower class boundary of the median class is 15.5. The upper class boundary of the median class is 20.5. The difference between them, that subtract 15.5 from 20.5 and you get what? 5. So the class size of the median class is 5. So let's work it out. We are going to have 15.5. Now half of 30 is 15. Minus 14. All over 6 times 5.
Is that clear? Now we are going to have 15.5 plus this minus this is 1. 15 minus 14 is 1. Please, this is not a dot or a point or whatever. It's 1. So we are going to get 1 over 6 times 5. Now let's look at it. 1 over 6 times 5, which is the same as 15.5 plus, when you divide 5 by 6, we are going to get 0 0.8333 going. So in this case, let's add. When we add the two, we are going to get 16.333, approximately 16.3. That becomes our median mark. So it means someone, I mean, examination, that the results were, uh, were, were, were gotten as the interval between 1 to 5, we have 3. Between 6 to 10, we have 5. Between 11 to 15, we have 6 students scoring. Between 16 to 20, we had uh, 6 scoring. Between 21 and 25, we had 8 scoring. Between 26 and 30, we had 2 scoring. The median mark scored is... 16.3. Thank you very much and we will continue. Thank you.